practice question. In a maths exam, three quarters of the total marks come from a written paper and one quarter of the marks from coursework. In the written paper, one quarter of the marks comes from a mental test. What fraction of the total marks come from the mental test? OK, so we're looking at the, the marks from the written paper, which is three quarters of the marks. That's virtually irrelevant over there. One quarter of the marks from those three quarters comes from the mental test. So we need to find out what one quarter of three quarters is. So we multiply them together. Multiplying fractions, just straight across the top. Three times one, four times four. So the answer is three sixteenths. Question 1. In a year group of 110 pupils, 66 pupils have school dinners. What proportion of the year group do not have school dinners? Give your answer as a decimal. OK, so 66 out of 110 do. So if we take that away, we'll find out how many don't. So 0 we can't do, 0 carry 1, 4. 10 take away the 6 is 4, so 44 don't have school dinners. So 44 out of 110 don't have school dinners. We've got to give our answer as a decimal, and we need to reduce this down. So 11's into there will go 4, 11's into there will go 10. So 4 tenths, all right, as a fraction, as a decimal, becomes 0 0.4. Okay, if you're not sure, 4 divided by 10, we're going to move your decimal point one place. So our answer is 0 0.4. Question 2. In a year group of 120 pupils, 75% achieved at level 4 or level 5 in Key Stage 2 English. 65 pupils achieved at level 4. How many pupils achieved at level 5? OK, you've got a couple of calculations here. We need to know how many of these first uh, achieved at level 4 and 5, so we can take the 4 out to give us the 5. So 75% of 120. 75% is 3 quarters. So 1 quarter of 120, not sure, divide it out, is 30. We want 3 quarters, which is going to equal 90. So 90 out of our 120 achieved at level 4 or 5, 65 achieved at level 4. So 90, take away our 65, which was the level 4s, okay, will give us 5, 2, 25. So 25 pupils is our answer. Question 3. In the year group of 120 pupils, 15 achieved an A-star grade in GCSE English. What percentage of the year group achieved an A-star grade in GCSE English? OK, so the only thing we can start with is a fraction, so we know 15 out of 120 got the A-star. Right, we need to simplify this down a little bit. So we can divide by 3, so 3's into there will go 5 times. 3's into here will go 40 times. OK, we can still reduce this down. 5's into there will go once. 5's in there will go 8. OK, 1 eighth, if you're not sure what it is as a decimal, times the top by 100 will give you 100 over 8. Reduce that down, we can put uh, 4's into here. So 4's will go into here 25 times. 4's will go into here twice. So 25 divided by 2 is 12.5. So our answer is 12.5%. Question 4. A pupil entering a Year 6 class has an actual age of 10 years and 11 months. The report from his previous school states that his reading age is 15 months above his actual age. What is the pupil's reading age in years and months? 
Okay, so its actual reading age is 10 years and 11 months. We're going to add on 15 months because it's actually above that. So 15 months, uh, 12 months makes one year. So we've got one year and three months to add on. So 11 years, 10 years and 11 months. Add on the one year, we're going to end up with 11 years, 11 months. Add on the three months, one month will increase the year. So we'll be up to 12 years and we're left with two months. So our answer is 12 years and two months. Question five. A sixth form group raises 82 pounds 50 for charity. The money will be equally divided between three charities. How much money will each charity receive from the group? Okay, straightforward division, 8250 divided by 3. So 3 is into 8. Start us off, it's 2 into 2. 3 is into 22, 7. Remember the decimal point, carry the 1. 3 is into 15, goes 5, 0. So our answer is £27.50. Question 6. A teacher attends a consortium meeting. The journey is seven and a half miles each way. Travel expenses may be claimed at 40 pence per mile. How much is the teacher entitled to claim for travel expenses? Okay, so it's seven and a half miles each way, so we've got to remember I'm going to go both ways, so we times it by 2, so that will be 7.5 times 2 is 15. 15, we're now 40 pence a mile, so we put our 40 down, put our pointed to remind us. So 10s, 5, 4 is 20, 4, 5, 6, put our decimal point back in. So we're allowed £6 as expenses is our answer. Question 7. A primary school has 60 pupils in year 6. 24 of these pupils achieved 3 level 5s in the key stage 2 tests. What proportion of the year group achieved 3 level 5s? Give your answer as a decimal. OK, so 24 out of the 60 achieved the 3 level 5. So we put our 24 over 60. We're going to have to simplify this down. So we divide by 2. So our 24 divided by 2 will become 12. 60 divided by 2 will become 30. Reduce that down further. 3s. Threes. 3s threes into 12 got 4. 3s into there got 10. 4 tenths. 4 divided by 10 is 0 0.4. If you're not sure, okay, look at the 4 divided by the 10. All you're doing is moving the decimal point one place. So 0 0.4 is our answer. Question 8. A teacher plans a school trip which includes a 152 kilometer coach journey in France. As an approximation, 8 kilometers is equal to 5 miles. Using this approximation, how long is the journey in miles? Okay, so 8 kilometers is approximately 5 miles. So 152 then, if we divide that by 8, we'll find how many chunks of 5 miles we have. So 8's into 152, 8's into 15 goes once, carry our 7, 8's into 72 goes 9. So we have 19 lots of 5 miles, so we need to multiply that out. So 19 times by our 5 miles, so put our times 5 down here. So 19 times 5, 9 fives, 45, 5 5 plus the 4, 9. So, 95, our answer is 95 miles. Question 9. For a practical task, a primary teacher needs 25 millilitres of liquid for each pupil. There are 28 pupils in the class. How many millilitres of liquid are needed? OK, straightforward multiplication here. A bit awkward numbers, 28 and 25 maybe. It's going to be a long multiplication. So let's simplify it a little bit when we write it out. So we'll put our 28 times it first by the 20. 
So tens in eight to sixteen. Two to four one's five. Now we do our twenty-eight and we'll times it by the five. So eight fives are forty. Which is a 10, 14. Now we just need to add these together. So 560 plus the 140, 0, 0, grade 1, 5, 6, 7. So 700, 700 millilitres is our answer. Question 10. A group activity contains two tasks. In the first task, all five members of a group achieve three marks each. In the second task, two members achieve four marks each, and the other three members achieve three marks each. What's the total number of marks achieved by the group? Okay, this is a straightforward multiplication again. So in the first group, we got five with three marks each. Five times three gives us our total there, which will be 15. The second group, we've got two getting four marks each. So two times four will give us our eight We'll put down under our 15 and 3 get 3 marks each so 3 times 3 is 9 we put our 9 down here and we just need to simply top these up so we go down to there and we get uh, 22 put our 2 down carry our 2 2 plus 1 3 so 32 marks is our answer question 11 a school trip is planned for 56 pupils there must be at least one adult for every eight pupils. What is the minimum number of people on the trip? Okay, so eight pupils for every one adult. We've got 56 pupils. So 56 divided by eight will show us how many adults we're going to need, which is going to be seven, seven, eight is 56. We must remember to add back in our number of pupils as well. So 56 plus our seven adults, add it together, we get 63, so our answer is 63. Question 12. A lesson begins at 11.40. The teacher prepares a 10 minute introduction, followed by a 15 minute video clip and then a 25 minute activity. At what time does the activity end? Give your answer using the 24 hour clock. Okay, so we're starting at 11.40 and we need to add on our 10 minutes. So if we add on 10 minutes, we'll get to 11.50. Then we've got to add on the 15 minutes. So 11.50 plus 15 minutes will bring us up to 12.05. We've then got to add on the 25 to the 12.05, 12.30. So our answer is 